It's a chicken salad. I love mac and cheese. I love baked mac and cheese. I love stove top mac and cheese. Like, I love mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? washed and um, chopped these collard greens yesterday so that today I could just throw them in my pot and I don't have to do nothing too crazy too extra y'all know how annoying it is when you have to wash and chop and do all this extra stuff just save yourself some time when you buy groceries if you know you're gonna have a busy week wash and chop all your peppers onions everything that you need for the week. That way you could just cook. I'm gonna add some of this garlic olive oil from Trader Joe's. This is gonna add that smoky flavor that you will usually get from um, smoked turkey neck so you can do this or like smoked sea salt but you just want like typically with collard greens you know you just want it to be well seasoned um, and you know just have that flavor that we're always used to so this time I'm seasoning my collard greens but you do not have to follow this um, you could do whatever you want so I'm making the mac and cheese with Butternut squash. It's a chicken salad. I have to recreate that TikTok. If y'all don't add me on TikTok, go at me. Go add your grub. I'm number one because butternut squash is in season and it's scientifically proven. Um, studies show that, you know, if you're eating produce that is in season, it has more nutritional value um, when it's in the season. I love mac and cheese. I love baked mac and cheese. I love stove top mac and cheese. Like, I love mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? Like, come on. Because I'm on a plant-based diet, um, I try to eat whole plant-based foods. I had to find, you know, a little bit of a healthier version um, that was obviously vegan and, and plant-based. I wanted it to be on the cleaner side, being that it's not a special occasion. Um, it's not a birthday, it's not Thanksgiving, so there's no reason for me to just have the processed vegan cheeses and the vegan cream cheese and vegan sour cream and all the vegan creams. I didn't wanna do all of that. Honestly, I'm trying to whip myself back into shape um, before the new year comes around. I wanna start 2023 really, really strong um, in all areas and I just, don't want to do that to myself so I honestly wanted to put my best foot forward so I'm like let me find a natural vegan mac and cheese recipe 
Um, and I've made cashew mac and cheese before a few times and it always turns out amazing. So I'm like, what, what would it hurt to add butternut squash to that recipe? So yeah, I'm getting my in-season fruits and I get to satisfy my craving for actual mac and cheese. So 